Barnsley Hospital NHS Foundation Trust is committed to improving its services for young people. It's keen to include young people in its new governance procedures, but recognises that recruiting young people into membership of the Trust is only the beginning and not the end of a process of engagement. Over the past year, members of the Trust Council of Governors have met with young people from Barnsley Youth Council and Connections to discuss young people's concerns about health matters and their local health service. This DVD was produced at the session, an event held for 13 to 19 year olds in a local nightclub. The session was hosted by the Trust, the Youth Service and Connections and facilitated by the campaign company. It featured live bands and DJs as well as various stores and workshops run by local youth and health related organisations on issues such as healthy living, smoking cessation, sexual health and healthy eating. It's good because there's activities for you to do. Um, I think the session's quite good because it gets people off at the streets and everything like that and gets people more involved in more things. Oh, right, cause there's activities for us to do. I think it's brilliant because they're doing loads of healthy stuff and you get to fill in farms and get free stuff and stuff. It's been very good, it's very fun and all, and you learn more. What's been your favourite bit of it? About smoking. I need to stop. Everyone's friendly. Yeah. Good. Why is it good? It costs us things for us to do. It's pretty interesting. It's g giving young people a chance to have their voices heard and I think that's what they need. It's okay because it's fun, you do lots of stuff. It's good because it tells you information about sex and drugs and what drugs can do to affect you. Well, I think the session today is... Uh, but, uh, Really good for uh, young people. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, youth service uh, stalls and hospital, band the hospital. We've got a live band downstairs. We've also got a disco. So I think it's, I think it's really good for uh, young people. It's alright because it tells you all information that you don't know, and uh, it's like drugs and everything. I think it's been really good because it's to help young people and that. Well, it is good, and um, I think it is going to be good for till end as well. Well, I think it's all right. Uh, there's good, there's some stuff to do, and we're not bored, and we're not going out, coming, smashing windows. It's like fruit day, so got come down here, something to do, and uh, it's uh, have a little bit of fun. Yeah. It was for visiting and for eye patches and stuff like that. Yeah. Why were you there? Operation on my kidneys. Yeah. When my dad nearly died, my dad nearly died and then he died and they brought him back so I went to see him. Uh, yeah. What were you there for? Uh, panic attack. <laughs> yep. Why were you at Barnes Hospital? I had stitches in my arm. In, and now we're in Barnes Hospital with meningitis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someday. Yeah, when I hurt this little finger. Yeah. Because I had to have an operation on my foot. I have, yes. What was that for? It was when I broke my foot. Yeah, for my teeth taken out. Yeah. When I was allergic to something, but we didn't know what. Yeah. A few years ago, I had a broken leg. Yes, when I was born and when I, I, went, I had to go for an injection been twice because once I broke my arm in three places and I had to have my appendix took out. Once I had, um, I, I cut my eye open so I had to go and get that stitch up. I broke my arm and I broke my leg. Yeah. What for? Because when I um, kicked the floor and um, I hurt my toe and I had to have an x-ray. I, I've got a dog and it, it's been put down now but I won't. Um, my dog and this other dog were fighting and I jumped in the middle and it bit me, that other dog, so I had to go to the hospital for my belly checking up and I had to stop in. And I'd been in for my tonsils stuck out. So I, and I had to stop in for like a week at hospital for my tonsils stuck out. It was okay. I thought it was clean but it could be like a bit more well presented. It was good. I know, I know nearly every nurse. It was horrible because my dad didn't stay with me that. It was good. 
Everybody knows us and everything. Uh, checked me quite well, quick, and then I went home. We're all right. And it was very good, it was very friendly. And the uh, food were nice and you had loads of fun and games to do. It was good. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> Staff are uh, really friendly, nurses and that. I thought it was smelling um, and they had horrible dinners and I didn't like them at all. It was all right. <laughs> it was a bit mad because everybody was rushing round. And there was quite a long wait. It was all right. I get to go on computers. Doctors were friendly and nurses and they were, from, they were kind and did also so I think it I think it was a, was a good service but uh, like food lets it down mainly. Nurses were kind to me, didn't like disturb me when I didn't want to. It were a bit crowded and it were like rushing about and people like screaming and crying and that. Well, uh, I think it was all right, but it's just blankets that aren't warm enough. It, it's good because you can go on PlayStations in that. You'll not think it's like hospitals, but they treat you like... I don't know, you can't explain it, but they treat you right good because they let you have dinner and toast all what you want. No? They could, like... Get people involved in workshops at the hospital, like doing activities there and like learning about more things that go off there. More workers. More, more play stuff in Playville. More play stuff. Okay. <laughs> Get more parents. Help me dad. Just make it a bit more kid friendly, you friendly. Something to do while you're waiting. TVs. Yeah, PlayStation. Come for your beds. Like having a right nice smell and having some nice dinner. Yeah, I've more where um, people working there. Um, I think they probably could have had like more staff on um, on the, the the day and have more people coming round to make sure you were okay. The food. Better food. Yeah, better food. What, what, what kind of food would you like to see? Um, English breakfast. More visiting hours probably. Yeah. Better cooks, <laughs> basically. Improved food because I didn't like it that much. More healthy food. Um, they could have like calmed people down and um, try to not rush about as much and help them. We need, uh, we need like quilts because it's cold. And then like when all people uh, when they're in bed cold, they, they can like get bigger quilts, what warms and up and that. Uh, and and them tellies, them tellies what pull down on top of you. You've got to pay three pounds for them. And it's hospital, you should be there for a treatment, not to pay for stuff. I know it should be like free when you go in because um, when you get like hurt your and you and you want to watch tell you, don't just pay t pay three pounds because um, you might just you, you might not have it on you and your mum and dad might have gone out and then you can't watch telly, can you?